What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're going for a test drive in a 1966 SS Chevelle. This one here has got a built 454. Big block. Pretty nice carb setup. The Dominator. No power steering on this one. Electric fans, aluminum radiator, 12 volt rear. And of course, we're gonna be taking it down the road for a test drive. Check us out at maplemotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures. Get financed and pre-approved on that website and we can ship this car anywhere in the nation. This one does have disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Exhaust out the back. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, got my fuel pump switch on. You hear it running. Look around the interior. Got a nice dash, nice carpet, nice seats. Back and straight's been done. Headliner straight. Place your bet you think the horn works. Wipers? They're not cutting on. Let's cut the car on first. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Wipers? Not working on this one. Horn? No horn. Blower motor? I believe blower motor's on. I hear it. Got it on. Show you the mileage on it. 100% stopping and getting gas because I don't believe that gas gauge. Looks like our tire signals are popping up. The left side's not popping up on the dash, the right side was. Let's hit the road and see how she runs. All right, getting ready to take off down the road. Uh, notice the console's not bolted down. It needs to be bolted down, it's fairly new looking. Uh, the back of the seat piece here needs some clips, I bet. The clips on it feel kind of weak. Uh, and there's no seat belts, so this one definitely needs some seat belts because it's supposed to be pretty fast. Everything that I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. Okay, so I put about $20 worth of premium fuel in this car and we're going to uh, check that gas gauge out. It was reading about half a tank. It very well could have been. If it goes all the way up, I know it's somewhat working. Let's see. That box just don't want to stay shut. Turn the key. Almost all the way up. Yeah, gas gauge is working. Well,
Okay, I was having technical difficulties with my camera. Hopefully this uh, stays on. <laughs> I'm gonna contact GoPro, hopefully, uh, probably tomorrow. You get that issue fixed. Turn your fuel pump on. Turn the key, she starts up. I can't keep this on, but check this out. <laughs> yes. Then you can close it up, run it through the mufflers. That's so cool. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's head on back to the lot. Where'd the camera go there? I want to make sure it stays on. There we are. Definitely check to the end of the video. I'm sure there's gonna be some comments. There's no overflow jug on the radiator on this one. And we fill the radiators all the way up. We top them off when we first get the cars in. So the excess has gotta go somewhere. What it really needs is a, uh, a nice jug to catch all the antifreeze to get sucked back in. now it's stopping just fine now be careful on this road the car gets all squirrely like that but normally I can predict it on some of these Chevelles seems like they always kick out to the right like that well heck earlier this one went to the left and then it came back to the right when I got on it the second time so it's just got that much power sound like with the exhaust open. Let's open it up here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing's nasty. crazy back there <laughs> too much fun all right guys I'm literally around the corner from the car lot I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit share hit like and I'll keep them coming for you I'll see you later. You didn't burn your tire off, did you? <laughs> well, what he's doing over here? What'd that come off of? Oh no! I bet. Got a tire in the middle of the road there. That's a personal ride, by the way. Don't call on that one. He's probably pulling it in to give it a bath. I'll see y'all later. All right. We're going to walk around this car, point out any kind of chips and scratches so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Again, check us out. MapleMotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures. Check out the financing and shipping options. And let's get started here. We're looking for chips, scratches, flaws, rust, bondo, anything I see, I point it out. Coming around the front here. Pretty nice bumper. It does have some chips. But you could tell, you know, it's been replaced at some point. Coming around the side here. And then the lower portion.
beautiful trim on this car. It's looking like the bottom of the doors are nice and clean. I'm not seeing any bubbles, scratches, or dents up and over this fender. It's looking pretty good coming down this side. Back bumper's been replaced as well. Probably about the same time that front was done. I've just got a magnet tag stuck on there. Dual exhaust out the back, and a lot of the trim on the back here is nice and clean. Coming down the side. Down the top portion. Front windshield's nice and clean. Trim looks awesome. A little bit of pitting on the top of that vent window. Door handles are fairly new. They look clean. A little paint imperfection there. I think that's pretty much it to that. Package tray, back window, all the trim is new. Roof looking slick. Coming around to the back here. Weather stripping looks good in the trunk on this one. Looking up under your mat, do got some moisture in here. Uh, it's just starting to do some surface rusting because of the water. It doesn't take very long in these trunks, I can tell you that. You get a little bit of water in there, you'll start getting some discoloration even with the paint. But it looks solid. Okay, trunk lid, same thing, nice and clean. Let's just throw this mat back in there and we'll get her wiped out when we get back to the lot. Shuts easy, lines up pretty well. Hangs off a little bit on the edge, but. Looking pretty good. Let's go down this side now, running down the lower portion. You can see the doors hanging a little bit on this side. Could be the hinge too. See the top portion there is lined up pretty good. You go down to the bottom, it's hanging a little bit. Little chip there in the front. Coming down the mid section. <clears throat> Got a little chip there in the door in the corner. Looks like right here on top. Oh, nope, some dirt. There's a light scratch, that'll buff out. It's a chip there. A little wax left over in the cracks. There's a faint line here. It's under the paint. Sorry about my shadow. It's that time of day when I record, my shadow's always right there in my way. <laughs> Okay, I've had my camera fail twice today, so I might be calling GoPro. It's eating my batteries or something, I don't know. That's why it cut out. I usually don't cut out during these walk-arounds, but right here, the corner, the whole thing just shut off. What I was gonna say, um, it doesn't have an overflow tube on this one. 
So I've noticed a couple times when we stop, there'd be a little bit hitting the ground. That's because we always top these radiators all the way off. Once we get a car in, we'll check all the fluids and top the radiator off with a uh, fresh coolant. This one doesn't have a jug to catch the coolant. It goes on the ground, whatever excess that is in there that it pushes out. This motor is very strong, very fast. And uh, yeah, it'll put a smile on your face for sure. Go ahead and look over the interior real quick. Hopefully the camera doesn't cut out again. Like I said, uh, I recorded like 2,000 videos with a GoPro, so hopefully they'll hook me up. All right. Door panel on this one looks great. Weather stripping looks good. Pretty sweet. All the trim looks good. Carpet looks awesome in this. Seats. They've been done right, front and back. Package tray, headliner. This is a good looking interior here. Even the dash pad's been replaced. You could pick the steering wheel. It's got a little bit of pitting on it. The console needs to be bolted down. I noticed that. In the back of this seat, of course it ain't gonna come off now, but when I was at the gas station, hell, the whole thing fell off. But it just clips on. And I think I got it back on there, right? Uh, you do have a fuel pump down here. You have to cut on. That's what keeps the car running. <laughs> Turn the key. Starts up pretty good. comes down easy and it looks great this side's sitting a little high in the middle got some touch-up marks in the front this car is very loud high on the hinges back here too I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe. Also share and like, that helps me out a lot. And I'll continue to make more videos like this. Don't forget, maplemotors.com, the detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. Let's hit the road. I'll see y'all later.